Tooth. Welcome to Monkey Art Creations. I have a little bit of something I'm going to try. This has a couple spots on it where some paint got on it, but it'll be okay because we're going to cover it. But anyways, um, hopefully I'm centered. It's really hard for me to see if I'm centered or not, but hopefully I'm centered enough for you guys to see what kind of action we're going to do today. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I just had a wild idea, and I'm not sure how it's going to work. We're going to see. What I have here is Dioxazine Purple and Liquitex because I watched a video and the girl suggested, and her name is Melly D. Um, I will try to get her link and put it in here so you guys can find her, but her name is just Melly, M-E-L-Y-D. And she does really, really good with a cloud mixture. So I have a cloud mixture mixed up here. I've used it before, but sometimes it's turned out good. I'm looking at some of my pictures I hung up. Sometimes it turns out good, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to try to do something she said to do if I remember it correctly. And then she said that the Liquitex paints work the best. And the only Liquitex I had were these two colors. This uh, Doxazine Purple and then fluorescent Pink. I need to get more di uh Liquitex colors. I got mostly all artist loft and deco art uh, metallics and then some a whole bunch of craft paints and all that. But then I stuck in um, just one more color so we didn't just have two colors. I stuck in the color shift um, acrylic metallic aqua flash. And it's not really as flashy as it looked once I put the flow trawl in it. So, next time I do this, I'm not going to put quite as much flow trawl so that it looks more to its true color, maybe. I mean, it's it looks close, but when you put the flow trawl in, it always does. And then it died down that, that, color, flat, that color shift look. So, we'll see what happens. Might have fooled me. We'll see. But we're just going to do a ring pour. And my husband got a hold of my small one. So we're going to use a bigger one here, and I can't tell if you guys can see it, but since you can see this in the canvas in the picture, I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, this is crazy, because I do not want to do it with such a big cup, but my husband stole my little measuring cup. So we're going to do this, and I forgot... To measure to see how much it's just only measures milliliters and I don't know milliliters I know ounces we'll just kind of go from go from here okay what she said was to start with your main colors okay and put it I wonder if I used a whole one of these cups if it would be a now no I'm wondering how much this is I would say this is a four to five ounce cup this is a three ounce cup, so I'm guessing this is close to a four ounce. I'm gonna try it instead of this big old cup. And if I have to add, I will, but okay. Let's see what happens. Alright, she said to start off by putting just a little bit of your regular dark, your regular colors you're gonna put. And do it like we're gonna do a ring pour. And I may or may not wreck it. I haven't decided yet. But she said to just go ahead and do them. And in between each, put a very little bit of your cloud mix. And do this on the bottom. On the bottom of it. And I'm going by her instructions. And my mixture may be different. So it may not. Hers turned out beautiful. Let's see if we can get ours to turn out good. Just a little bit of the cloud mixture. Like that. Because if you put a lot of that cloud mixture in, I learned the hard way that it takes over the painting quickly your um satin enamels do because the cloud mixture i'm sorry i never even told you guys or anybody that doesn't know the cloud mixture is basically um we have i, I left it over there i apologize so i already had it mixed up it's the deco art um satin enamels and it comes in the same size as like your 24 karat gold metallics in the little jars and then also it is, i use artist law flow acrylic and that's what she uses and then also you use your um your mixture i use flow trawl not sure what she uses i think she uses different things but anyway let's get on with this and then of course i mix flow trawl and a little bit of water with these so let's go ahead and just pour it down the side and of course we want to do a little more 
then the white. But between each one of these, we're going to do the white. But just a little bit. So hopefully this works out. And if I set my purple over there, I'm going to spill it. So let's try this. I don't know how this one's going to react to the cloud mix, but we'll see. Now we're going to put another little bit of white. And that's it. That's it. That's all we're doing in the white. Guys. Because we don't want it to. And that's how she done. Was done it on the bottom. So that way it's actually going to be on the top of your painting. When you get to that point. I feel like I need a little more. But I'm, gonna, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I could have right, the right amount. And I could not have enough. We'll see. So now we're just going to continue layering these colors. Out. like normal we're just going to layer these out all the way till I run out oh it does still have some of the color shift in and I can see it that's cool we'll see how it turns out though on the actual painting don't know how it's going to go on the actual painting, but we'll see. We got one more time to go there. Well, we might as well just take it a little bit more. And we could get probably one more spread there. And this one's about to get done too. So let's just go ahead and finish this off here. All right, last time guys. We're going to get this in here. That is really weird how that purple dyed. I'm just checking to see how it did. It's just really weird. It's like we're missing a layer of our white, but it must have kind of run together. I see it, and it's just that I didn't put quite as enough, and I probably should have put more, but maybe not. We'll see. So let's run all of these out of our cups. Hopefully I'm still recording. Yeah, I am. Okay, and this will be the last one. And good to go. Now... Let's try this. This is going to be harder to pour. I didn't think about this because this didn't have the pour tip on it. But here we go. What we're going to do is pour this out as a straight pour until we start seeing our white come out. We might move it around a little here and there. But not really too much. It's really plopping down there. I'm not getting it going like a, a pour should be going. There we go. We want to straight pour this until we start seeing the white come out. So I start seeing the white, which should be coming soon, <laughs> should be coming soon. Oh, I'm cracking my cup, it's squeezing too hard. Okay, I'm going to start doing it. There we go, here comes our white. So let's kind of do this. There's the white coming out. Okay, here we go. I am not really 
really sure if this cloud part is going to come out on this, but we will see, guys, how this works out. Seems like a lot of that cloud mixture tried to stick in and stay under that purple. See how it's still coming out? It's a little thick. So let's just see what we have happen. Hmm. Pretty neat. Let's just see what happens. Oh, torch. Torch, torch, torch. I always forget that guy. We want to torch it first. Oh. My shorts on the and I stuck to my chair. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to torch this first. And it looks like we are going to have some cells. Or it's bubbles on. Let's get this torch before it starts running off. Come on, Shannon. There we go. Get some torch going on here. Get all them bubbles pop. And now let's see what we can do. If we can stretch this out and get some cloud pour to it. Or how it's going to work out. I'm just going to go really slow with it. And keep that middle where the white is. So that hopefully... I can bring that out to be the cloud mix, hopefully. We're just going to kind of wand it around here, bring it back to the middle, come back down around, and bring it back to the middle. I'm doing this a little faster than I should because I'm losing my lines. Let's come back this way. I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring this cloud mix back to the middle. It is going to work. It's going to work, guys. I believe it's going to work. Let's go ahead and run this corner off and come back and bring this cloud mix back to the middle. Okay, hopefully you're seeing this. And then we're going to come this way, I think. Oh, that's not the way I want it to go because the way of my paint is not going that way. We're going to do it this way. We're going to come down this way and come, I want to go over, but I don't want to lose my white. I do not want to lose that white. I want to leave my cloud mix in the middle. So let's try to bring this over and come back. Bring this over. Now I'm going to bring these cloud mix, this cloud mix back. So I did learn how to do the cloud. I followed her instructions and I learned how to do it. I am finally happy for that. <laughs> this is running very fast. Let me try to get this up and over it before we lose some of that cloud. Oh, I got it all over my arm, but that's okay. And now, let's try to get this to where we get the weight of the paint to want to come down this way to get all this gone. So we're not losing our losing our cloud. That's a problem there. We're gonna have to just come up with it. Come down this way. Come up with it. I may not have quite had enough paint. That there I'm gonna get with this corner over here, I'm gonna get with some of my paint. I'm gonna bring this back in for a good composition look. We still have a lot of our lines in there. We have our cloud mixture in the middle. I love it. Some of this is going to have to come down. I wonder if I can get that to go down. And come back up. With it. I'll tell you what. Let's try this. There we go, guys. This corner is the one I'm worried about. I want it to come off pretty. Let's just run it off. If we can, it doesn't seem to want to run off. Oh my, I love, 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 love the way this cloud mixture has done. I'm going to bring this up like this. I'm just going to have to pack that corner up in a different way. And kind of bring this cloud mixture around 
I love it, guys. I love it. I'm going to leave it alone. Just right there. And then I'm going to take some of this extra paint and kind of come down this side here the best that I can. There's some other pretty colors. And get my corners. And there we go, guys. Monkey Art Creations. Please subscribe. This turned out awesome. I'm going to pause you for a minute. And then I am going to show you a close-up. And hopefully you will think it looks as great as I do. And I could have probably kept those clouds a little closer together. But I'm learning and I think that was great for the first time. So let me pause you for a second. Or stop you for a second. Bring you back and show you this close up. One moment. And don't forget to subscribe. Like. Watch the whole video so it counts as a view for me. If you have to fast forward through it, that's fine. Just get through to the end. And also, I mean, I, I'm just trying to get my um, self known. And then also, I'd like to start selling some of my paintings because I'm over, 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 overloaded with paintings. I've got probably close to 50 paintings that I haven't sold any yet because I haven't tried to. But no, I take that back. I sold one. But other than that, I've not tried to sell any. And I need to get on that because I need to varnish them. Anyways, let me wash my hands. Pause you. Oh, let's see here. I didn't even get a paper towel. What a silly girl. Let me pause this, and I'll be right back to show you guys the um, close-up. One moment. Guys, here is the close-up. I'm going to try to turn my ring lights and everything off since it's daylight. And see if you guys can see it still. Yes. Since it's daylight, you can still see this really well. It's trying to pop up a little bit of cells, I think, here and there. We'll see how that dries out. I might have had a lot of bubbles because I didn't let my paint sit. But, okay, this is the bottom right corner. And it's trying to do something. It's still wet. I'll let you guys see it when it dries. Let's hope it dries just like this. And then up here in this corner, I really don't want that corner to go off, so I hope it don't. But if it does, that's okay. And then you come over here... You can see some of those really neat designs of the clouds. And come over here to this. And there's some that got stuck out there by their cells. That's sort of neat. Come down the left hand side here. And then come across the bottom of it. It looks like this. And then I want to show you some spots in it has really got the blue going into the clouds. And you got some purple going into the clouds. And then the in between. And I'm going to work with this and get this better, but I really think that this one turned out pretty awesome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, um, all the above, guys. I think this looks really neat. And almost, if I would have done something a little different there, it's almost like it's 3D, like you're going into it there. I think it looks really good. I'll try to get you a dried shot of this. I for keep forgetting to do that. I'm telling you guys I'm going to do that, and I forget just remind me in the comments, hey, I want to see the dried version of whatever painting. And I can make sure that I do it if I forget. But anyways, please, please, please subscribe. Always remember that this, this is, painting is always done in the love, for the love and the memory of my, in loving memory. I guess is the way I need to say that. Of my sweet daughter, Chelsea. And I did this on Mother's Day. And I believe she would greatly approve. <laughs> But anyways, everybody have a great Mother's Day. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed and all of you that have shared and everything. Have a happy Mother's Day. Hopefully all this sickness is hopefully going to go away soon and we can go back to something of a normal, what we call normal or maybe a new normal. You never know. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Smile and paint. Bye, guys.